I'm in Enumclaw today setting up an estate sale for December 9th, 10th, and 11th. Let's step inside. Okay, in the entryway we've got this a lovely grandfather clock and it is an electric plug-in, but it chimes beautifully. And going into the living room here, I'll go to the right where there's a nice piano. But I want to show you the piano bench. This claw foot. Nice old oak piano. Flat screen TV. Beautiful picture. Some stereo equipment. Got some nice furniture. Nice piece of alabaster decor from Italy. And we've got some clocks. This is a nice reclining sofa. It's pretty new. It's not too used. And we've got some a table with antiques, old clocks, old saws. Um, these are plaques that were made from the brass um, that was left over when they were making the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline. There's three plaques total. Antique phone. Some antique tools. Um, collector's car. <clears throat> that one's made out of fruit wood. An old clock. Missing some parts there old collector cars. Down here's a, a bin full of more antique tools and um, clock parts. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is, but it looks old. From the Forest Service, it says right there. Okay, moving on, we've got some handcrafted musical instruments. Looks like a, some sort of harp. Another clock. Large glass ball. There's a beautiful harp. Handcrafted. Let's listen in, see what it sounds like. And there's some extra strings down there. Got this lovely oak china hutch. <clears throat> Another bin here of clocks and parts of clocks. Some old snowshoe. Ship's wheel. Some more stereo equipment, old albums. Okay, going into the kitchen here. This is where we have a collection of um, cars that he collected. Model cars. Along with a few antiques, some airplanes, brand new in box, never opened. This is kind of neat. Morse code. We've got some new items over here: a nice printer, a monitor, chair. Vintage sewing machine, sewing supplies, cookbooks, current food from the pantry. <clears throat> Over here we've got some gun cleaning equipment. No guns, unfortunately. Those were kept by the, the family. Some old knives. Okay, let's go outside since the slider's right here. Out here there's several items, some golf equipment, recumbent bicycle, um, some old bullet casings. Um, this is an old automobile part. Sleeping, camping equipment, 
gardening. There's an old cedar chest out here. Some canning jars. Another recumbent bicycle. And a galvanized trunk. There's a nice generator, big, new. You just don't need it. They're downsized. Yeah. Air compressor. Um, going outside, there's some interesting items. For instance, a big red canoe, some extension ladders, aluminum and fiberglass. Then we've got this antenna. I think it's for radio antenna. Uh, we have a shed in the back that's full of gardening and a lawnmower and fishing poles and probably a lot of other stuff that I haven't found yet. Bins of miscellaneous. Some musical divers. Side. Lots to show you still. There's a garage full of woodworking tools and some really nice wood. Um, the gentleman that was living here was a physician's assistant, but he was a skilled woodworker. And made clocks and musical instruments and all kinds of things. So entering the garage here, we've just got racks of smaller tools, supplies stored everywhere. And then he's got these wood pieces staged here to use. And a lot of tools inside their cases. Some of them are out. Lays on the floor as well. On the other side, there's some really nice wood pieces. I saw one was birch and it's walnut, just big slabs, kind of like three by sixes. some digging. There's a freezer out here. All supplies. Shot back. A little books on woodworking. Uh, magazines as well. There's kind of a gyro collector up there. Some antennas. bedrooms. So there's the laundry room. A lot of supplies still. Some antique knives are stashed there. Washer dryer. Okay, this bedroom has a few items in it. With uh, One of them is a punching bag, really heavy. Sewing supplies with the sewing machine, a barina. Some beautiful wood frames. All packed up. There's another one of those clocks that he was working on. This bedroom has some clothes, some cots. And then this is really interesting with the um, the bows and arrows. There's some up against the wall, and then this is full too. Okay. Okay. Last bedroom. In here we've got a lot of ham. Um, or CB radios, I guess they are. Huge assortment. And books. There's 
some games, some camera equipment, more books, Sec book secretary desk, a lot of interesting items on these shelves. And then there's another closet of shelves, computer stuff, cords, projectors. Well, that's about it. I hope you can make it on the 9th, 10th, or 11th. If not, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.